In this section, we'll use few techniques for improving code maintainability. We'll start this section by using template method pattern. Next, we'll implement inversion of control by using dependency injection. After that, we'll use live post processing for checking arguments types. In last video, we'll enable tracks models to support any string as attribute name. So, in this video, we'll create a base object for player's header view. Then, we'll extend it and we'll implement those methods that affect how the view behaves. Also, we'll use duck typing for inferring track type. We'll add this CSS to Jumbotron class so that setting a background to this element will make it cover the whole element. Now, let's create the player header view base object. We'll create a hero view plane object. We'll add four attributes that will be references to DOM elements. They will be original year, cover, cover image, and Jumbotron elements. Next, we'll create the show method that will delegate to show original year and set cover. These two methods, show original year and set cover, will be empty. Adding logic to these methods will be the task of subclassed objects. One of subclassed objects will be hero track view. Hero track view will use base object as a prototype, but it will rewrite show original year method so that if original year is available, then it will be shown. Otherwise, the DOM element will be hidden. Also, the setCover method is rewritten. It will first reset the background of Jumbotron element as it may be set by the module that we'll add next. If the cover value is available, then it will be used as cover image. Otherwise, cover element will be hidden. Now we'll create a player header view for single tracks. Hero single view object will be created using base class as a prototype. That's the same thing we did in previous module. Also, the show original year method will be almost the same. We'll just add the single word. The set cover method will add a background image to Jumbotron if cover value is available. It will also hide the cover block. Okay. Now we can use these objects. First, we'll require heroes track and single views. We'll remove these DOM elements as we'll not use them anymore. Now, when track data will become available, we'll use duck typing to detect if a track is of single type. And we'll call the matching view. In case of an error, we'll just call hero track view show method with a null argument. We'll move the fourth track into second position so that second track will be a single track. Let's start the server and see how it works. Playing second track sets a background image to the whole player header. Playing other tracks will remove that background and will show the cover image. So, the idea in template method is that a base object implements a skeleton of an algorithm in a method. This is template method, and it defers some or all steps to subclasses. In our case, we subclassed in hero single view and hero track view. In next video, we'll improve code testability by using inversion of control.